perfect. Okay, hi, Candy. Okay, so I first have to preface, I was, I'm like such a huge fan of yours, so I'm like freaking out. I would watch you play Big Brother on the live feeds literally every single night, and you were my favorite house guest. Um, I also, I recently went on a trip to Atlanta, and our one goal for the trip was to visit Old Lady Gang, and it was so good. We had the crab cakes. They were so delicious, so I just have to say that. <laughs> Um, but we have to talk about Secret Celebrity Renovation, and I wanted to ask, what is it that you love about the show, and what made you decide to be part of it? Oh, my gosh. Well, first of all, my husband, Todd, and I, we always just sit and watch, uh, like, renovation shows. Like, that's our thing. We love to see how it started versus how it ends. Like, that's, mm -hmm. like, exciting. But the way that I was brought into it is I'm actually friends with Nichelle, the host. Oh. Yes. And, um, you know, she came by old lady game for something. And so she was like, do you think you would ever do this, you know, give you the opportunity to, you know, help somebody that's close to you. And I was like, oh, that sounds amazing. And obviously we were at old lady gang. Right. And so <laughs> the thought of helping Aunt Bertha came up. And so, yeah, it, it turned out amazing yeah yeah um yes. yeah along, along with aunt bertha could you tell us a bit more about who you're dedicating your episode to and what it is that you're running waiting for them and kind of why you chose this person okay well it was a couple of people that i thought about obviously but the thing that really made it land on aunt bertha is aunt bertha's house is actually originally it was my grandmother's house so when I was a baby, I, well, just a little girl, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother before she passed. And when I was like, I guess four, some people think like you wouldn't remember those times, but I, I specifically remember moments with my grandmother mother that I loved in that house. And then um, my Aunt Bertha, she it moved into the house afterwards and it in the family home like we always go there and have family dinners play cards cookouts it's like we have so many memories as a family in that house and you know I just wanted um to see it you know turn into yeah. 2022 version <laughs> what that can be because it's been in our family for so long you know uh, so it has a lot of legacy to it I love that oh, um for sure. And this show is so wholesome. I've seen a lot of a lot of people get teary-eyed on the show. So I wanted to ask, how emotional was this experience for you? And overall, how rewarding did it feel to do this show? It was so funny because I felt like my cousin, cousin Weenie, um, that's Aunt Bertha's daughter. She was oh, the one that was tearing up. <laughs> I mean, I felt like, you know, I was just like shocked. I was in shock. Yeah. Even though I was a part of the process, I was just in total shock, like, how did we do this? Like, it does not look like the same house at all. Oh. Like, it's so different. And my Bertha, she was like, you know, she was being a Bertha. I, I mean, I like it. I like it. I, <laughs> I, I think she was kind of like throwing off like, is this really my house? That's how it felt. Oh you know, and every day she still calls me to say, I just want to tell you, baby, I love my house. I just love it so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. That's how she. I love uh, that. I'm no, so excited. It's, uh, it's really cool, you know. And I mean, she she's got a dishwasher now. She's never had a dishwasher ever oh, in her life. Excited. So it's simple stuff. <laughs> the little things, you know. I love it. I'm excited to see the big change. And speaking of Nichelle, Nichelle, Rob, and Sabrina all seem like such amazing people. How fun was it getting to work with the three of them on this project together? Oh, it was amazing. Oh, okay. So Rob taught me some things that I didn't know, you know, about just building and things that you should know, especially dealing with the older home. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I mean, hey, I was impressed. <laughs> oh, I was totally impressed. The design, I would have never envisioned the we came up with. I was like, how? How did they see this? From what was here, it was just amazing.
I'm not an artist either, so all the creative stuff really confuses me, but <laughs> this show definitely puts you to work, as you were saying. Um, and I saw you in the trailer with that hammer or mallet thingy. So I wanted to ask how difficult was the actual home renovation part of the show and how much were you able to learn about renovating through this experience? Well, that's what I was saying. Like, I definitely learned a lot that I had no clue. You know, I had no clue. Um, it was, um, I forgot what the saw is called, but he taught me how to use that. Um, obviously about, because, okay, you know, in a lot of homes, when they have old homes, you have the popcorn type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew how you have to scrape it off before you smooth it. It was just a lot of things that I didn't know. And then my, <laughs> my aunt smoked cigarettes. You know, so oh. like, and so I didn't I didn't know that when you scrape that stuff off, you can st see some of the smoke still oh. on the ceiling. Like if you're in a home where a person who smokes all the time lives, you know. So it was a lot of things that I didn't know. I was like, yeah. oh, this is interesting. That's something new for me too. That's something new I learned today. <laughs> yeah. Um, in this show, I know you actually get to you mentioned this already, get to visit Old Lady Gang with Nichelle. Um, how is it getting to show Nichelle around the OLG while also getting to connect with some of your childhood friends? Well, I mean, I'm always at the Old Lady Gang. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of cool to introduce uh, a lot of, you know, my childhood friends to the world and you know, the restaurant. I, I love anytime I could come. I am one of those people who likes eating at my own place. Like, meaning, like, I can eat our fried chicken forever in a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's so anytime delicious. I can have, anytime I can have a meeting there or have a friend come by, it's the perfect excuse to go eat. Yeah, it's, I mean, it makes sense because it's so good. So why would you not want to eat there? Obviously. Um, I know you are an extremely busy woman. For instance, you're, you've are you just been doing a huge tour with your group Escape. Because the show is so much about family and reconnecting, I wanted to ask if you have any advice for people who might be struggling to juggle kind of their personal family lives with their work lives. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm not good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. I, that's something that I am consistently trying to fix myself, trying to figure out how do I balance and find the right balance of work and family. Um, the one thing about it is that I, I hope that people see when they um, see the celebrity home renovation, um, how close I am to my family and how much I love them and how much I care about them. Um, so no matter how much I'm working, and, you know, my family means so much to me. Yeah, I love that. The, that the ones that live in the house and the extended family. <laughs> All together. Mm -hmm. um, I have to ask, Rob Mariano, also known as Boston Rob, originally got his fame from the show Survivor before this show. So this is just a fun little question. Would you ever consider doing some kind of celebrity Survivor type show if asked? No. <laughs> do it I cannot do it it was really really hard for me um to do um big brother celebrity big brother mm. it was like you know I think at first because I'm a person who likes to win okay so yeah. I'm definitely trying to be there to the end but being away from your family for so long and not being able to communicate to the outside world that is not easy like honestly when I came back home from that experience I felt like a few weeks, like I felt like it was just, it was hard for me to jump right back into things. Like I had to have a moment to figure it out. And it's not just me because when I talked to Cynthia about it, mm -hmm. and when she did the Big Brother show, she felt the same way. It's like, it's something about being taken away from your family and your home and, and not being able to use social media and, and you don't know what's going on in the world. But to be gone that long, it really throws you off because I made it to the very last, you know, day of the finale. Yeah. And it really throws you off to be away from home for what was it? Five weeks or something. It was crazy. Yeah. No, I just had to ask, cause I think you're such a good like player strategist. So I, I just Thank had to ask. You. I, I, well, uh, you know, 
I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe if I wasn't such a good player and right. I got involved <laughs> in the first week or two, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. Like a but, short little experience. Yeah, but to be able to make it to the end and still don't win, oh my God, it's devastating. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Um, okay, this is my moment to hype you up. This is your time to brag. I mean, I feel like a lot of people use the phrase triple threat to describe celebrities, but in all honesty, I feel like you're kind of like a quintuple threat or whatever the word is. Thank like you. you can sing, songwrite, perform, host, you're a reality TV superstar, and now you're even a home renovator. So <laughs> how crazy is it looking back at the beginning of your career to see just how far you've come? Oh, it's super crazy. It's super crazy because, um, you know, when I started, I mean, I was 16 when we first signed our record deal, Jermaine Dunn Records. So it's like, uh, to go from that to 30 years later <laughs> and still be in this industry and, and be doing things that are in a major way. I mean, think about it. Reality TV didn't even exist when I first got into the entertainment yeah. business. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just thankful and I feel blessed to have been able to con constantly reinvent myself into, a, you know, have this type of longevity because the hardest thing, period, is to have longevity in mm -hmm. a business, in any business. Longevity is the hardest thing to do. And so to be able to accomplish still being in this game of entertainment and doing it big is a major accomplishment. And, and I'm shocked. And I'm just <laughs> shocked every day when I'm like, wow, I can't believe I'm still able to do it. I know, and you're still doing it well. Um, so last question, fans want to know, once Secret Celebrity Renovation airs September 2nd, what can all the Candy Burris fans expect next from you on your incredible journey? Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, <laughs> they're going to get some good laughs because you know I'm <laughs> silly. And so to be up in that house trying to figure out how to tear down walls and stuff, like it's going to be <laughs> hilarious. And then my Aunt Bertha is super funny too. So I think people are going to get a kick out of that. But the amazing part of it is to see that transformation. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. It's going <laughs> to be like, whoa, that is not the same place. So I think people are really going to love this episode and and really get a kick out of watching how it turns out okay well i'm so excited thank you so much for speaking with me today and i'm sending nothing but positive energy your way oh thank you thank so you have a good day